Okay, this is a D7 tower, and the issue is the slit keeps drifting. You can adjust the tension by loosening this Allen, holding this in, and turning it, tightening it, it a little bit, and then lock it back in and that will increase your tension. It's probably because the grease in your mechanism has gotten old and it needs to be cleaned out. So I'm just going to do a quick a quick breakdown and rebuild. I'll do another video on actually cleaning the stuff. Okay? So take off the tower, raise it up, I'll put a rubber band on here to keep the drill on the table. It's the smallest one on this set. Just hold one in, unscrew it. Now be careful of your pieces in here. You've got a spring. Just put the pieces right back because you can get confused. And there's a washer. There's a washer a brass washer and another washer. Got your washer, flat, very thin. And you have a brass, a brass washer, and then there's another thin washer behind that. So if, you, if they don't come out, And it's got a little cog in it. That's your third piece. Okay. Now we're going to take this screw out. Pull this out. This is the inside. This is pushing the rod up, which is pushing the table. Okay, I'm just going to push this through. You don't want to lose these. If you're bearing and you have little spacers on each side, don't lose those. Inside here you have this pin that rides on this bearing. When it goes up and down, it pushes this pin up and down. which pushes the rod, which pushes your table. Okay. What I would clean is I would take these things apart and you have to be careful when you put it back together that you want to line, line your zero up, although you can do that later. But one way of lining it up is the hole and the notch should line up and then this should be it zero or close to zero. That's how you know you got it lined up and then you can tighten it back up. Your hole and your notch line up and then you're close to zero. 
tighten it up. That's that. Okay? What I would do, I would clean all this stuff up, put the right kind of grease on it, which I would use grease number nine from Hogstripe. It's a thicker grease, but you've got to use what you've got. That's what I would recommend. Clean it all up, re lube, put your little rim oil in there, make sure your bearing's turning. Put a little grease on there. I've already re-greased everything, so I'm just putting this back together. There's a couple ways you can do this. If you got your hole and your notch lined up, and you have this all the way in the bottom, everything's going to line up. But if you want to, if it's if you don't think you can do it, you can go ahead and just line it up with your cam right there and just push it right on in. Line it up. Put your screw back in. Put these things back in the same sequence. Your brass washer that's that's got a notch in it that fits your shaft. Line it up. Next washer. Put your, sp put your spring in. Hold this in while you screw it back on. When you're getting a little bit of tension, you can either put it back on the slit lamp or just, if you know what the tension should feel like, you can adjust it. I think if you just tighten it until you start getting a little bit of tension, that's that's going to get you in the ballpark. Okay. Temporarily, you can go ahead and tighten this up. Put it back on your slit lamp and check the drift. Oh, don't forget to take off the rubber band. Your helper. Okay. I'll do another video on more of a, a detailed cleaning. Get her done.